There are situations where you want to silently deploy an application via Intune, in a system context, but you also need in some cases to interact with the currently logged in user and display some pop-up messages. All this can be achieved with the help of something called Service UI EXE. Service UI EXE is a tool included in the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, MDT. It's designed to bridge the gap between processes running with system privileges and the active user session. Typically, when a task or script is executed under system rights, it won't display any interactive elements directly to the user. To get Service UI EXE, first download MDT from here and install the software. After the installation, you can find Service UI EXE here. You also have the x86 version here. Two prerequisite packages. A custom action that launches the Service UI EXE tool to execute a PowerShell PS1 script that displays a message box. The prerequisite packages are installed only if you agree with the PS1 message box, otherwise the suite installer just exits. In Advanced Installer, here are the settings that need to be implemented. From Product Information to Product Details page, uncheck Register Product with Windows Installer option. From Requirements to Prerequisites page, add the setup packages you want to be embedded into your suite installer. In this example our two MSI packages. Click on each package. Go to the Installation tab and set UI level, same as Main Package. Click on Configure and make sure you add the QN parameter on both boxes. From Files and Folders page, add as temporary file the service UI EXE tool mentioned above and a PS1 script file that displays a message box. From Custom Behavior to Custom Actions page add a Launch EXE with Working Directory Custom Action after Wizard Dialog stage to Paths Resolution Action Group. Here, configure the action to Launch Service UI EXE tool and as Command Line, Use. Configure the rest as shown. Select the above custom action and, while keeping the Shift button pressed, drag and drop it under Install Execution Stage to Paths Resolution Action Group. This way the custom action will be shared by both installation stages, UI and install execution. On advanced execution scenarios, hyperlink and select the skip action in install execution stage if executed in dialog stage. Next, from the left pane, go to package definition to install parameters page and check run as administrator under installation options. Build your application package as an MSI format and local test before you plan to deploy in Intune. Single Application Package, Google Chrome. Pop-up display message if the user has Google Chrome opened. Automatically close Google Chrome after 15 minutes and continue installation. In your default PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit folder structure, copy Service UI EXE directly into the parent folder, right next to Deploy Application PS1 and Deploy Application EXE. Inside File folder, copy your downloaded Google Chrome C installer. Modify the Deploy Application PS1 accordingly. Add the package built with Advanced Installer as Windows MSI line of business app. Add the app information as you want. Assign it to your targeted group as required, the application will be installed automatically. If you want the user to initiate the start of the installation via company portal, you can add the group under Available. As you can see, the install context is device context, system context. You don't need to worry with any detection method. Since it's a LOB application added as MSI, Intune automatically detects the MSI GID and sets it as the detection method. Now for the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit package, add it as a Windows app, Win32. Add the app information as you want.
On the next step, it is important to set the install and uninstall command as shown. Set the requirements as you wish. As detection rule, select manually configure detection rules. MSI, and then add Google Chrome GID. This GID can be found by opening the MSI with Advanced Installer or the free MSI Editor ORCA, or by installing the app and looking with RegEdit. You can skip dependencies and supersedents and under assignments, add your targeted group as required. Application will be installed automatically. If you want the user to initiate the start of the installation via company portal, you can add the group under available. Thank you for watching. We are waiting for you in the next video. Bye.